Hi there everybody, welcome to another video. On today's video I have this uh, BMW 320. Uh, this is a 2014, the F30. Um, now, what I'm going to show you is how to reset the TPMS system, so the tire pressure monitoring system. Um, the reason I'm taking the opportunity to do that, it's because um, the car has been parked for a little while and then I took it for a drive the other day literally a couple of days ago and the light came on so get that message there so it's just asking you to check the tire pressures all around and then you need to reset it and that may involve a small drive by the way so I'm gonna check the tire pressures all around and then uh, show you how to reset this so uh, before we top up our tires and we check them have a look at the on on this pillar here on the driver's side uh, might be on the passenger side in other countries I'm not sure you should find um, a sticker like this and that sticker sort of uh, tells you it recommends the how much air to put in so we have 2.2 or 2.4 like for the front or for the back so it's shown here it, it's showing you in bar so 2.2 bar or 220 kilopascals it says there and funny thing is I, I normally use psi but my gauge my gauge also reads bar so so that's okay in this case scenario um so this these measures here or these ones here are according to the tire size so also check the tire size that you have so for example that's that says there you may not be able to see it but it says 205 60 r15 that's the size of the tire and then it says 92h so that's the speed rating of it and you will have that for all these sizes so there's a 225 40 r19 89y so for all of these tires they recommend you to put 2.2 bar in the front 2.2 2.4 bar in the back um however if you're carrying more passengers or more luggage they uh, they recommend you to put 2.6 bar or 3.1 bar and that is for that those tire sizes then you have different tire sizes here with 20 inch rims so that's much bigger tire and obviously the recommended pressures for few people more people that says five people with luggage three people max uh, it recommends you that and then you have the same on this side tire sizes and here as well and then the recommended pressures so have a look at that you can find the you can actually find the tire size on the wall of the tire so this one is for example 225 50r17 94w and so in many cases in some in, in these particular cars the rear tires sometimes are bigger not wider than the front so let me just have a look at the front okay so these are the front 225 50 ZRF17 and that's a 94W as well. So in this case all the tires are the same. So we can now you can have a look at that. Go to the list in the pillar, have a look at the size and what pressure they recommend. And that's what we can top up uh, in terms of air. So all you need to do is remove that and top up some air. So I, I still have to check which of which one of my tires it's lost some air but I'm also gonna have a look at what pressure I need to put okay so my particular tire size it's right here it says 225 50 r17 94w and it's in this section here it recommends 2 bar in the front 2.2 bar at the back right let's go and check those tires Right, I got my gauge just pressed against the valve there 
and it's reading this is the rear tire rear driver's side tire you can just about see there it's actually reading about 30 what is it if i get a bit straight <laughs> it's reading about 2.2 bar um or 32 psi there so i don't need to do anything to this tire just release that and put the valve back so sometimes there might be a bit more air you, you have to just adjust it accordingly people also obviously a lot of people think that if you put a lot of air in the tire you actually gonna save fuel which is true it is true that obviously if your tire is quite pumped it will roll better however it will really wear out in the center so it's not a good idea to do that either so you're trading a tire for fuel but tires are expensive as well so in the end you don't really gain anything um anyway now i'm going to check all of them and uh, if i find the dodgy one i will show you okay um i've checked all the tires and i'm just gonna be honest none of the tires actually had lost air in this case scenario so uh, but however the one of the tires at the back not this one but the other one was at about 2.6 bar um now that may or may not get the car thinking that that pressure is high and the others are low so it could still send a signal to the computer saying the others the other tires are low um so uh but it's it, it can happen um so anyway i now adjusted all the tires at least i'm happy to know that none of them have actually lost air to be fair the car has been parked for a long time and it's also in need of a of a battery so it keeps asking me to, to charge the battery or to change the battery that's the other um that's the other message that i'm getting here so so we have the pressure one and then i have the battery one so anyway um i will be replacing the battery in a bit but uh if you come out of that menu there okay car switching off because it's uh it's saving battery anyway um Right, once you've checked all your tires um, and you're happy with the pressures, get back into the car and get your system here running. And obviously you have this wheel here to operate it. You wanna go to vehicle information, uh, vehicle status, engine oil level and uh, no here here we have a reset perform reset so select that inflate all tires to correct pressure then perform reset only possible when stationary with ignition on ignition or engine on so perform reset so all you have to do is press that wheel and it's going to reset as you can see the light is now gone off and then uh, what it's going to do is going to it's going to measure the pressures while you drive the car so you need to go for a little drive and and that will be it really so let's try and do that so as you start driving it's gonna set it's gonna say reset tire pressure And uh, sometimes what happens, actually, um, I have had faulty receivers on, on uh, not so much on this car, but on, on the F20, I've had issues with the receivers where it doesn't want to reset the system and you need to change the receiver. So let's hope I don't have that issue today. <laughs> Slowly it's getting there, it's at 54% at the moment, the tires turn green. Okay, so sorry I couldn't I couldn't quite film, but um, it just said 
preset successful and now it's come up with tire pressure monitor active and now it's giving me the pressures that I put so that's reading 2.3 bar um, I thought I reduced it a little bit well I did reduce it but obviously my gauge is not 100% um, nor nor is the measuring device so anyway um, having said that I hope the video helps don't forget to like and subscribe if you have any questions and I can help then for sure I will Otherwise, um, we'll see you on the next videos. Thank you for watching.